Hi friends, and welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Friday, it is Friday so it is weigh-in day, it is WW Workshop Topic Day. I'm going to share with you all about my week, set some goals for next week, and let's see if I had another loss on the scale this week. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do a weigh-in every single Friday and I do upload five days a week. So make sure your bell's turned on so you never miss a future video. Check out that description box down below for for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized macros and calories, highly recommend, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to utilize me as your coach and talk with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things, and of course, come on over, join us in my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's jump into the WW Workshop topic, my week, some goals, and this week's weigh-in. friends. I hope you had a amazing week. I had a great week. I had a very, very, very busy week. We went out to dinner this last weekend for my father-in-law's birthday. It was my dad's birthday on Monday. My dad did pass away in 2013, so I did drive to Phoenix on his birthday, which is about a two-hour drive each way, and spent some time with him at the National Cemetery in Arizona, where he is buried, and just spent his birthday with him. I grabbed some really pretty red, white, and blue flowers, and a red, white, and blue pinwheel, and a cute little figurine that is solar that will light up at night and kind of reflect on his headstone and it was just really peaceful and really nice to be able to spend his birthday with him. That's one of the main reasons why I'm happy to be in Arizona amongst many other reasons, but just to be closer to him where I can go visit him as often as I want. I feel a sense of closeness just because I know that I'm only a couple of hours away instead of thousands of miles away. So on top of that, I worked on real estate school, did coaching, filmed videos. It's just been a busy week as always, but it's been a good week. It's been a really good week. Food-wise has been on point. I will say, coming clean, being transparent. I told you guys last week that my plan was to pick back up exercise this week and that didn't happen. It just ended up being busier than I thought. We finished up the new molding in our house. We finished up the flooring here in my office and in the other bedrooms in the house. So people were in and out on top of everything else and I just didn't make it to the gym. But I promise, mark my words, that I'll be going this next week and be able to fill you guys in in next Friday's weigh-in about all the exercise that I was able to get in. I just want to get back in the habit of going, you know, three days a week for about a half of an hour. Nothing intense, just moving my body a little bit now that we're getting more settled. Before we jump into my weigh-in for the week, though, let's talk about this week's WW workshop topic, and that is how to become a snack pro. I love snacks. I love snacks. I am a snacker. I have at least one, if not two snacks every single day. And I look forward to my daily snacks more than my daily meals. I am just through and through a snacker. So this is a great topic. And this topic is relevant to pretty much everyone. You might be worried about staying in your calories or staying in your points when hunger hits throughout the day. Sometimes we'll tell ourselves, I don't need a snack. I'll just be hungry until the next meal, whether it be lunch or dinner. When in reality, it's better for our body and better for our weight loss to give ourselves a snack if we're truly hungry during the day. It's also very important to have healthy snacks that work within our program on hand. That way we're not stopping by the local gas station or fast food restaurant. We have an abundance of snacks on hand. If you watch my grocery hauls, you know I buy a lot of snacks. I buy several things every week because I like variety, but I also want to make sure that I have snacks on hand that fuel my body and that fit within my weight loss journey so that I'm not tempted to pick up snacks snacks elsewhere. Now there are some ultimate snack options out there, healthy ones, delicious ones, and things that should be added to your next grocery run. So I want to share with you the list of the go-to snacks that WW has shared with us. If you want something crunchy, some great options are air popped popcorn, carrots, apple slices, pistachios, roasted or air fried chickpeas. I love nuts as a snack. For me, nuts keep me full and satisfied. The mix of healthy fats and protein are just a double threat 
regret when it comes to satisfying me for until my next meal. If you want something sweet, look for raspberries, dark chocolate chips, Greek yogurt with fruit, even the WW mini bars and fiber one bars are really popular in the WW community. Just something that's going to give you some macronutrients, whether it be protein, fats, carbohydrates, a couple of those macros is ideal in the sweet snack and also something that's going to satisfy that sweet craving so you're not choosing an unhealthy option. And if you're craving something salty, try hummus and bell peppers, whole grain crackers with your favorite dipper spread, multigrain pita chips with guacamole, edamame, or cheese sticks. Cheese sticks? They're my holy grail. I eat a cheese stick every single day, sometimes two of them. They're just a great snack. There's some healthy fats, there's some protein, and cheese, well, cheese is delicious. I also wanna circle back to what we've talked about for the last few weeks, and that's the difference between external and internal hunger. Before you have a snack, and before you have a meal, check in with yourself and ask, are you internally hungry, meaning your stomach is growling, you're physically hungry, or are you externally hungry because you saw or smelt a food that's that was really delicious and it made you think that you were hungry. Make sure you're getting in the pattern of checking in with yourself before having a snack or meal. And let's be clear, you are 100% empowered to eat whenever you want, but it's good to get in the habit of just doing a check-in and making sure if you're internally or externally hungry. Developing a healthy pattern with food, a healthy relationship with food, and really not eating if you're not hungry. And remember, losing weight isn't about depriving yourself. And better yet, losing weight is about eating anything that you want in moderation. WW preaches this. I talk about this with my clients that no food is bad or good. Nothing is off limits, just everything in moderation. And if you're craving something, then eat it. Eat what you're craving so you don't go into deprivation mode. Make sure you're in control when you're having a snack or a meal. And again, check in with yourself for internal or external hunger cues. So I really like this topic. I think it's relevant to everybody. We all snack or we've had a snack at some point in our life. And it's just really important to remember to check in before you have your snack and better yet have healthy snacks on hand to make healthy choices. So now let's go ahead and jump into this week's weigh in. Like I said, my food was on point. My exercise, not so much, but like I always say, fitness starts in the gym, weight loss starts in the kitchen, and you do not have to exercise to lose weight. And that rang true for me this week because when I stepped on the scale, I am down 1.6 pounds. More than I lost last week, 1.6 pounds. And I'll go ahead and put here on the screen my overall total weight loss so far. And I am getting closer and closer to my goal, which makes me so incredibly happy and actually motivates me to start moving my body a little bit more, not for weight loss, but because I feel better. I want to tone my body as I continue to lose weight. I want to develop and build lean muscle. And when I get down to my goal weight, I'm all about getting as strong as I can be and actually being able to flex and see muscle, that's my goal once I get the fat off my body first. And remember, you can build all the muscle you want during weight loss, but if there's that layer of fat covering it, you're not really going to see it. So for me, it's about doing mild to moderate activity while I lose weight and then really upping the lean muscle building and the strength training once I get to my goal weight. So that's my plan. I'm thrilled, thrilled, thrilled with this week's weigh-in and I'm thrilled with losing over 104 pounds. That just still today blows my mind. I still have to take a double take sometimes at myself because I'm like, who is she? Who is that skinny, mini skinny legend over there? Because I forget that my body has changed so much. I mean, we see ourselves every single day. So sometimes I have to take a double take or really relish in the fact that my body is changing so much as I continue to lose weight. So now I want to hear from you guys. How was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? What do you think about snacks? And actually share with us down in the comment, what is your favorite? favorite go-to snack that helps you stay on track, but also fuels those cravings that we get throughout the day. Let us know down in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, it would help me out a lot if you gave it a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe and better yet, ring your bell so you never miss a future upload. I will go ahead and link nutrition coaching, my favorite, favorite things with some discounts, as well as my Facebook group down in that description box. Don't forget to come join us there. That's how you can keep up with me a little bit more day to day. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy Friday, happy weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.